I remember back in 2001 when I launched Destiny Rescue, I was asked by my pastor to take the next Sunday sermon and, and talk about what I'd seen. And, and I remember just sitting there in front of the computer trying to work out well, what am I going to say to everyone. And I heard a noise inside my head. It was like a dream. And I got up and I heard the noise from the bedroom and, and I went down the hall and opened the door. It was slightly open. And as I opened it, there was a bunch of kids in the room. It was like I was actually doing it, but it was just inside my head and, and they just looked desperate. All I could think of, oh, they must be hungry. So I raced to the kitchen and got them some food and went into the room and gave the kids some food. And as I handed them the food, I heard some more noise. And I put my head out the door and went to the next bedroom. And um, there was just another bunch of kids. And it's like, that's oh, truth, the, the, these guys must be hungry as well. So I raced into the kitchen and each time I did that, um, my house just got a longer and longer hallway. It's like this never ending hallway of door after door. And I was in this panic of running around trying to find food and I've got no food in the fridge. And I went outside and, and as I went outside, there was more kids outside in the backyard. I could hear this noise behind the fence. I went up to the fence and, and I pulled myself up over and looked, looked over the fence and all I could see was um, this sea of kids. And um, I just remember feeling that heaviness of this is so huge, like, how can I do anything that would, um, could change all this? It's just too big for me. And I remember sort of sliding down the, the fence, just feeling totally defeated. And, and as I s turned around and, and sort of just dropped myself on the grass, I looked up and then I started to see some faces that I knew and they were, feeding the kids or consoling them or playing games with the kids. So I got up and started to walk inside and as I went inside, the inside of my house had totally changed. It was like a uh, call centre and people were on the phone telling other people about the need and that we had to do something and I saw people trying to inspire people to get involved and you know help us rescue another kid. and. I went from this place of just total desperation of this problem is so huge, what can one person ever do, to turning around and feeling that peace of I don't have to do it alone, that people are going to hear about this, people are going to get involved, people will be inspired and as a, as a team or an army of people that we can have an impact, that we can end this 